Well, hello everyone. How you doing? Welcome and thank you for joining me into another OP TGG Sim gameplay with your leader featuring Verona. So, without any further delays, let's dive in straight away into the deck and then we're gonna play a few matches. Now, this leader has a base power of 5000, it is multicolored in green and black and his effect consists in the, in the following. Once per turn, Activate main, I can choose one of the following effects. I can either rest one of my opponent characters cost with a cost of 4 or less, or I can give up to one of my opponent characters minus cost 1 for the turn. Now, based on this effect, let's explore the deck. I'm running uh, uh, Kozuki Hyuri, which means pretty much it's a cost 4, but however, uh, I can place this character into the trash, I can play up to one of my land opponent cards with a cost of 5 or less from my hand, and then I can draw one card. So therefore, I can cheat out my Ryuma. I'm also running uh, uh, Kozuki Monzuke, pretty much a searcher, nothing much to talk about that. So Ryuma, on play and on KO, can KO up to one of my opponent rested characters with a cost of 4 or less. So with my little effect, has a great synergy. Utama, another searcher, most likely just for my either for Yuma or for my event card, you can be my samurai. Now, basically this event card, the way it works is I'm gonna rest either like two Utama on my field or maybe a Hiyori because I can just, it doesn't say that this card cannot be rested when I use the effect. So I can use, you can be my samurai, rest these two characters, one of these searchers, and then draw two more cards just to top of my hand. Now, I'm running Zuru, pretty much is a counter of 2k but also can give minus 2 one of my opponent's ca character. I'm running two Borsalino just to have a bit of protection on my side. Two Guzan, believe me, this card brings so much value with this leader. Because on play, you can give a minus uh, 5 to 1 of my opponent character and KO um, one of my opponent character with a cost of 0. Therefore, um, while this card is staying into play, most of my opponent character gonna be cost 5 or less. Now, I'm also running one Lex Soldier, pretty much counter of 2k, but also can, if I send this card to the trash, I can give a minus 3 cost to one of my opponent character. Rebecca, pretty much a blocker, but also can help me to get back, check from my trash or Borsalino. Um, also, now, I'm running Deku Moria. We all know the effect of this uh, the character. I can play one cost 4 and one cost 2, one active and one rested, therefore I can play Ryuma, and I can play Helmet or or um, one like Soldier just to give minus 3 to one of my opponent characters. Check, cost 7, 8,000 bit power, but also, activate main, every turn, I can draw one card, discard one card from my hand, and kill one of my, one of my opponent characters with a cost of 3 or less. Now, Helmet we all know the effect, just one play, give minus 3, uh, minus 3 to one of my opponent character. I already talked about, you can be my Samurai, and I'm running Ice Age. This card brings so much value as well with Peruna due to the fact that I can give minus 5 to one of my opponent character for the turn, so I can remove any big bodies into field. That's pretty much it for the deck, so let's dive in and play some games. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so we are playing against Purple Kaido. It's gonna be a really, really interesting matchup. Let's see how it goes. Now, first thing first, there's nothing much you can do except dropping our Otama and grabbing maybe another Otama. Yeah, yeah, oh, I cannot grab another Otama, so here we are, Momo. Let's grab Momo then. And then we're just gonna deploy Momo, and leave it as it is, and then end our turn. There's a high chance that our opponent doesn't want to do anything, just attack, big attack, yeah, which is predictable, and it's okay. So, I don't want to do anything special at the moment, what I'm going to do is just play around with my, with my cards, or should I draw two cards? I don't want. You know what, let's go for life first, let's see what he wants to do, and then maybe we're going to play Hiori and leave it, at his, um, leave it on the field. Yeah, we're going to play Hiori and leave it in the field, for the time being. So, let's see what he wants to do now. Well, don't, maybe he's going to play one of these, Onigashima. Just to start ramp up as fast as he can because he, this leader effect is kind of useful. No, he wants to go aggressive towards my life. That's fine, there's nothing much you can do about that. Um, so, let's go quick search with Momo then. Otama, sure. Um, let's go back to life then. Then I'm gonna play even by Samurai. There you go. Let's go, let's draw a few cards. Okay, we're good. We're good in our hand and we're gonna play our Borsal, you know. Therefore, we should be protected for the time being. Now, if you want to attack my Yuri, I mean, it's okay. I can play around that as well now from now on. Ooh, he played Trapal Galore, getting rid of my back, which was kind of useful. And he's going again, again, aggressively towards my life, but from now on, I'm not gonna like have that so easily. Now, Jack can come into play, and then we can kill his slow as well, sure. Yeah, let's go, fight to life, at least I'm gonna get a card from his hand, he definitely not gonna use his slow. Oh, very, very interesting, very, very interesting. Um, let's play Otama then, let's see if he can buy some right. Let's draw attack, attack, so let's draw two more cards, and then, from this point onwards, yeah, let's grab two counters then. Uh, another Otama, sure, why not? At least we're gonna have two counters in our hand. And it should be okay. And then we have a 6 to life. Oh, I forgot again. <laughs> I forgot I already got that. So yeah, let's just go with you might leave him on the field. Now, I mean, I could have played it out with, cheated out with Hiori, however, I don't know if I'm going to do another one later on in this stage of the game, because I just have only one in my trash. So I got two more in my deck, I don't know what they are. Now, it don't, it's going to go again extremely aggressively towards my life, he can do that actually. He can go in the game actually like that, but, but, I have a Moria, which I can play around. Yeah, he's going extremely aggressively towards my life, so I'm going to go... Mm, you know what, let's take this one, why not? Because I want him to use this leader effect. So let's go 6 to life. Okay. Then, let's develop our board then. Mm. Yeah, let's replace Otama. Let's play Borsalino instead of Otama again. And let's play another Otama then. Yeah, another Otama instead of Momo. And we'll grab our Momo hand here. And we can go like 7 to life. At least we have a bit of board protection as well with our Borsalino. Okay. Our opponent has been extremely, extremely aggressive up to now. He knows that most of my cards play removals, but he doesn't... If you place another low, he's just gonna trash two more cards for me. I mean, five to life. I'll be like, no, thank you. I'll bring you ten cost to do a doofy. 
and don't then close the guy who's gonna wipe, my, wipe out my whole boat, he might be doing that. Yeah, he's doing that, which is okay. However, that keep my person is still alive. Now, I can remove him. Yeah, five. Now, seven. Okay, let's play Jack. Then let's give minus five to him. So he's at five. Minus three. And then it can be removed by. Yeah, I don't want to need another remote Jack. I mean, yeah, I gotta get rid of one more Jack. I can get it back later on in the game. And then let's go for Clef again. Now, my opponent has no more guns. He played extremely, extremely aggressively up now. And he didn't even use his leader effect. He didn't play any Onigashima, he didn't play any Bet Maria, they go Bet Maria's into the field. Finally, I was wondering what happened to this card. However, so it's gonna be 8, I'm gonna be like, no, and I'm gonna give you, um, let's say 2, and Rebecca, because I'm gonna just bring it back right now with my Giko Moria. However, um, now, yeah, let's play the Giko Moria first, at least we'll know, we'll know what we're gonna do around that, so I'm gonna play here, and we can play, uh, Tsuru, mm, um, now we're gonna play Otama instead of Hamepo, so, yeah, I just wanna see who we can roll. Mm, nobody useful except even my samurai, which is okay, we're just gonna grab that. And yeah, let's grab Jack. Uh, sure, he's asking me if I wanna play anyone. Mm, I don't wanna play anyone at the moment, it's fine. Because I just can I just gonna rest him, trash Jack again, and say goodbye to Black Maria, and then we're gonna go again. Big seven to life. Now we we were in a terrible, terrible situation up now, however, as you can see, we're starting to build up our board slowly, slowly. Now, my opponent already lost one of his Kaido, plus he lost one of his uh oh, another Kaido, sure, I guess, but if you go five to life again, it's not, it's not gonna bring you much of a value. Now, will I be able to remove him again? I should be. Yeah, there you go, that's five. Now, let's go with... I just need to give him minus one again, and that's it pretty much. So, let's go like this. Let's rest Kaido, and guess what? You are coming to play, let's say goodbye to him. And then guess what? Rebecca, we're gonna get back our track, and we don't play anyone yet. There you go. Back to life again, and he opted to take that. Now, I'm still re I'm rebuilding my board again. This Ice Age brings so much value to this Perona, and that's crazy how easily I remove two of his most strongest cards. Okay, hello. Momo and you can buy some right great stuff, bring me no difference at all. Now 7 to life, I can just give you my Peruna, uh, Rebecca I think. Yeah, I just gonna give you my Rebecca at the moment, I don't wanna lose more life against my opponent. Mm, now, let's see. I can first of all I can, no I don't need to rest him. Let's play Jack, and then we can play Zuru. Oh sorry, and then we're gonna rest Jack. Let's rush Helmepo, because I can get him back anytime soon. And then let's go 6 to life, and then we're gonna go 7 to life. Okay, great stuff. And let's go 7 to life then. I mean I could have played, uh, um, Otama, but not yet. I don't know if she's probably valuable or not. Now, do you have another big body, uh, another, um, I call that, Black Maria? If you have, which is good. Sanji, okay, you're playing it a bit more safe now. He will ask that uh, he needs to be very, very careful how he plays. Uh, um, mm, should I take this one? Yeah, let's take this one, let's see what we get. Okay, we got our soldier. Now, now, I can, I need to find a way to remove that. So, Ice Age, yeah, let's Ice Age him. Let's rest, and let's get rid of one of my toy soldier. No, one of my, Hiyori, and let's kill him, and then we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, 1, 2, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, we swing to life, 10 to life, and then we're gonna go 10 to life again, 4, 5, let's go again, 10 to life, do you have enough counter, you should have, like 2, 2 more, oh wow, he's struggling, he's struggling, wow, he had no more counter, okay, let's go for another game, and let's see, GG, great race stuff, he already disconnected, never mind, he had no more counters, it's crazy, let's go for another game then, okay, so, we are playing against Crocodile, let's see how this match is gonna go, and from there we'll proceed, now, First thing first, we're gonna deploy our Momozuke, do a quick search, and grab a... Yeah, you can be my Samurai, I won't be in Nasset Momozuke for the time being. Now, let's wait for our opponent to decide what to do. Three dons, there's a high chance that he's gonna attack my Momozuke, and I just gotta let it go. Oh, three dons, let's see, yeah, there was a high chance that he was going to attack that, and there was no chance for me to protect that, so, I'm gonna go fight life. <coughs> let's see if he wants to take that, he has six cards, maybe yes or no, we don't know yet. And then we're gonna drop our Borsalino, which is gonna be protected from the time being, and give us a bit of protection as well, in case he decides to attack with 5,000. Now, even if he tries to attack with a hybrid hit, we're just gonna use Borsalino plus a Mepo, because we know for a fact we can bring him back with the Havoc Moria. Now, bring me some Sundays, interesting, so, okay, add up to one Reset Dawn to your area, okay, and if you have six more Dawn, roll one card. Interesting, very, very interesting, so there you go, easy protection with the Borsalino, and that's it pretty much. Now, how can I pair all that? Mm, so, I think we should get rid of uh, Missile Sunday. Mm, okay, let's go. Actually, I don't know if we have Mepo yet, but we need to get rid of it. Um, yeah, you know what? We just want to get rid of it, so I'm gonna give you one three. We're gonna rest it, and we're gonna play our beautiful um, Ryuma, and that's it. Get, just get rid of it, because at the moment, I don't want my opponent to have an extra attacker yet. So, quick life again. Definitely, this one's gonna be countered out. He has a card in his hand, and there is no point to let me build up my board heavily. Six on. Hmm. I. I wonder if I'm gonna get a Kuzan or not. Okay. Anyway, my opponent ended up with 9 cards in his hand. I don't know why, but it looks like he's gonna play some cards just to ramp up uh, lives. So let's see. 
maybe crocodile coming to play. There's a high chance for that. Uh, no. Okay, Pauline. So, if you have a Dawn on Plague, you have to one of your opening cards, you have to stop on the list. So, you have to use two Dawn, and then you can kill one of my characters. Let's see, let's see which one I'm going to get rid of. We cannot get rid of Bursa, you know? Yeah, there you go. Ryuma, it's okay. And two Dawn left. Mm -hmm. I can take the first thing now. Yep, there you go. Six, uh, mm, we're gonna take this. Yeah, let's take this one, let's see what we get. Otama, okay, I, I can roll three cards then. Ooh, we can get rid of him again. So, what I can do is go with Otama, let's see what we get. Another Ryuma, okay, never mind, we just gonna grab it. And then, mm, I can do even my Samurai. Actually, let's go ahead and pull that. Then, let's rest him up again. Another Ryuma into the field, rest up. Then, we're gonna go, oh, not Otama, sorry, I was about to do that. We're gonna rest uh, and Mepo and Otama, draw two cards, grist up, so at least we have our board completely filled up, plus we got two extra cards in our hand in case we need to build a counter power. Next, if we need to remove anyone else again, we got minus up to minus five so far, actually minus seven, so yeah, we're not gonna get KO, and KO anyone next turn again. Okay, there you go, my opponent has decided finally to counter it out. We're gonna do Bursa, you know, because it cannot be KO'd, we can be just removed with our opponent's effect, but I got the feeling purple and yellow don't have any removals except Raigo. But Raigo is not gonna be any valuable against my opponent, uh, against the Bursa, sorry. Okay, Crocodile coming to play, he'll be removed immediately because it's too dangerous as well to be left out in the field. So, we're gonna do Ice Age and Ryuma then. Let's see which one you attack. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna go for my helmet post, sure, I'm not even gonna try to block it out. Great, great stuff. Now, let's go, it's gonna cost me only, it doesn't cost me a lot, so, first thing first, Otama, let's see if I get anyone valuable, great stuff. Okay, let's go like this then. Let's go for the removal first, so he's minus 5, we can rest him out, then we can play him on top of uh, Otama, cheating out. With Ryuma, Dio, Rigo, Keo, and I got four more dons left, which I can play with. So I can go seven and. Yeah, let's go seven, fly. Actually, you know what? Six with Helmepo, then I'm gonna hit with Peruna, and then I'm gonna hit with um, Ryuma. You go five to life, you have to give me a few cards from your hand now. Ryuma, Chris up, then five, you have to give me one another card from your hand, please. Okay, and then Ryuma's coming as well, and it's gonna be another big hit. There you go. Seven to life, you have to give me two cards, he decides to not opt in and go for it. Now, 8, then Dawn, there is a high chance that uh, Yamato can come into play, and from there we have to see how we can play a remover. Other than that, we need to start to go extremely, extremely aggressive towards my opponent's life next turn if he plays uh, Yamato. No, Kikonojo, okay, that's one card, which cannot get, ra get rushed. Two Kikonojo, which means he has 8 cards in his hand. And then, back to life. It's, it's very, very risky. I believe he has Aokama away now. He has Aokama away. Okay, so let's go, you can be my Samurai 1 and 1 2, let's see what we get. Kiko Moria, great, great stuff. Um, okay then, so I can go. Yeah, let's go 6 to life. If you want to use Okamaway, you're gonna use Okamaway anyway, so go for it. Let's see my trash. Who can I bring back? Yeah, Okamaway, that's one life. There you go, let's go again. Mm, let's see my. Who can I bring back? Which is gonna bring me a bit of value then with Gekumoria. Sure, there you go, you recover one more life. If I do Gekumoria now, I can bring back uh, Utama then and Ryuma. That's, these are the only two which can bring back. So I don't think they are worth it, so I'm just gonna replace Hemepo with uh, Borsalino and then I'm gonna play one of my Toy Soldier. Right here, I'm gonna go 1, 2, 3, 8 to life. At least for next turn, I'm gonna be ready to remove anyone he needs to he play. Okay, that's fine. Now he's hand starving as well, which is good. And we are putting ourselves in a reasonable situation as well. Um, Crash your ground. I can grant your life, that's not a problem. Now, Big Mama as well will be removed. How many cards he has? 30. Okay, we can play around that, we can play around that. It's alright. So, there you go. I'm gonna use my boost now. Sure. I should have got Ryuma, I mean, it wasn't much of a value anyway, but it's okay. So, we can give minus 3 to you. And we can rest you out. Therefore, I can play out my Kiko Moria now. Which gonna, hmm, no. Let's think. If I do Gekko, or should I do Otama and a quick search? But Otama, how many Ryuma I got already? Yeah, it's gonna be challenging to find another Ryuma because I already have one in my trash. So, okay, let's attack first, and then we're gonna go with Gekko combo there. Yeah, so one. Come on, you gotta take that. I mean, if you do come away, I just I know for fact that I have to do something else. I need to play it around it. Okay, there you go, Chris up. Now, he was thinking to do come away. He was. So, therefore, what I'm gonna do, play Ryuma. And I'm gonna play. Mm, here, maybe. Or Otama. I, I think I should do Otama. You know what? No, no. Let's keep Soldier Boy here. And let's rush her. Therefore, he has no more attackers yet. I was thinking to do Otama, but then I realized, you know what? It's not worth it. Okay? And then I'm gonna go set it to life. Okay, I got a few bodies into the field, my opponent has decided how to play around, because he's already has starving as well. Okay, now, I managed to get two come away out of his way, two Kiko already gone, one Big Mom, and one Crocodile, so I already got rid of few of his big, big bodies. Next, honestly, I'm not getting any valuable cards yet, yet. 
So another crocodile into the field, kind of annoying, but it is what it is, we have to play around with that. Come on, I'm gonna go to my soldier, boy. Maybe, maybe not. Because this crocodile is gonna be killed anyway, so yeah, sure, I won't be able to protect it. You can have it. Great, great stuff. So we have Otama, and we can get. Hmm, I don't wanna rest these two Kabodis yet, so I think. Hmm, which one can be a good removal? I'm thinking how to play around with that. Because if I give him minus 3, no, he's not gonna be worth it anyway. Hmm, I need to find a way to remove him. Okay, you know what? I think I just wanna attack it heavily. Yeah, there you go. So I can rest him up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he's gonna go to 14. 15. 15k? I don't think he has 15k. What count there? 15, maybe 16. You know what? 15. Let's go. 16. Yes, yeah, we can go 16, that's fine. So we can go 6, 6, and 7 then. I mean, you have to give me all the cards in your hand, and it, it doesn't want to work out anyway. After that, I can even play Otama, and I can go 6, 6, 6. Yeah, I'm gonna play Otama then, and I look for, I can look for a card in case it's gonna be useful or not. Now, let's see if he wants to play something out. Uh, I don't know what is it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, draw one card, trash one card. Okay, he's getting rid of one of his missile Sunday, which is okay, but Crocodile is flying outside the window. Let's see who we get. Ooh, we didn't need but we can grab a hero, that's fine. And then we're gonna go 6 to life. Let's see, let's see. If you give me 2k, which is great, so another 6k. Race up, and then we're gonna go again 6k, and we're already hand starting him again. It's the third time we're hand starting our opponent. Great, great stuff. Now, let's see if he has another crocodile. Okay, I like Ikonojo, so he wants to recover life again. That's fine for me, that's absolutely fine, honestly. What is gonna do? Because he already lost two of your common ways, which means the next one is gone already. Five again. You keep forgetting that I have a bursa, uh, bursa in here. So I can play as well another Gekomoya later on if I need to. Um, but first of all, let's rest him out because no chance I'm gonna leave him alive. Six life, you can go for your Kikonojo, get rid of it. That's absolutely fine. I see what you're gonna do. Okay, great stuff. Then, hmm. I'm gonna do my samurai then, one and two, so I'm gonna draw two more cards, Crystal. We can get rid of a few cards later on if we need to. Let's go night life. Mm, let's see, okay, we'll come away, he's really recovering one life. There you go, you lost another come away, which is great. And then we can go one, two, three, four. That's it, life. You're gonna take this one because you don't wanna waste all the cards in your hand. And that's gonna be it for the time being, I believe. Okay, that's a blocker. I'm gonna do Momo then, which is gonna help me do a, do a bit of research. Another Otama. And. Leave it as it is because she gave me a cookie counter anyway. If we if we need to use that, if that's if honestly. Now, this three Charlotte bully is not gonna bring you any value at all due to the fact that I can rest it immediately with my leader. I can even go one down to uh Momo and attack. So ace, wow, okay, ace is getting removed. Definitely ace is getting removed. Again, he's trying, I got Borsalino, there you go, even Momo is still alive now. So let's look at research with Momo and we get another Momo. Yeah, we just gonna grab it, it's fine. Then I think I have to do a gecko play then. Ice Age. Okay, let's attack first and from there we'll see what we can do. So let's go 6. Do I have another Ryuma in my crash? I do have another Ryuma, so Ice Age. He needs to fly, so... Yeah, Ice Age plus... I think I have my Pokemon board. Do I have another? Okay, I got a Soldier there, so it's fine anyway. But he needs to be rested first. Mm, that's very, very annoying. Okay, let's see. Because I need to rest Ace before killing him. So Ice Age is give me minus 5. And Peron needs to rest him out. Mm, the Komori is not going to be very good at the moment. Okay. You know what? Let's rest the blocker then. Let's get rid of it. I mean, you don't want to protect it either, so that's fine. Let it go. Now, Gecko Combo. I don't. I, if I have, if I didn't do the research with the Momo, I would have, oh, should have, should have had like enough time to play my combo. Now I'm in a pickle of a situation, so the only thing I can do now is Otama. Let's do a bit of research. You again. Huh? I don't have one, one, most of my removals yet, so you know what? One. Minus 5, I can give him... Ooh, big mistake, big mistake, I forgot that I used my leader's effect. You know what, end my turn, end my turn. I completely forgot that I used my leader's effect and I wasted an Ice Age. How silly of me, very, very silly. However, I got enough counter now. If you place another Ace, mm, I'm gonna be in a terrible situation. Because I completely forgot that I used my leader's effect. That's very silly of me. Okay, blocker, this blocker needs to go away, that's fine. Time to trash. Let's trash it, let's see what we got. Kuzan, oh, the only card I really needed, I trashed it. <sighs> There's nothing much I can do anyway, so it's okay. It's okay. The only card I really, really needed, I trashed it. So that's my easy one to counter. There you go. I'm not gonna fall for the trap. Come on. Okay, so I gotta go for game then. Rest the blocker. 
This goes 7 to life. If he takes that, it means he has no more counter and then I'm gonna go with Giacomoria. I made a silly terrible mistake which could have cost him in game, honestly. Now, what are you gonna do? Do you wanna come away? You might have only one, though. Let's see, let's see. Okay, that's 8. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go 7, seven to life again. Because he already used 3 of them. He already used 3 of the Okama ways. Therefore, maybe he has one last one in his hand. Let's see. Okay, Brass Red. Okay. Now he has no more dons. Therefore, I can go 6 to life. Actually, you know what? 7 to life, let's go for sure. Because if this one can be a 2k anyway. And Gekko Mori is going to go for game anyway. There you go. And Gekko for game. And that's it. Pretty much about GG. Yeah, it was a 2k counter. That's it. Alright. Let's go for another matchup. Okay, so we are playing against Kiros. Another removal. Very, very interesting to see. Very fun. Uh, very nice leader. Maybe I'm going to try and gameplay with him very, very soon, but not yet. Now, let's see. You may need to turn on the top card of your life face up. Give up to one of your opponent cost, car opponent cost character with your cost. Yeah, I misread it, but we all got the idea. Otama, we beautifully fought our hand. Nothing much you can do. Now, we have a Kusan in our hand. Very, very useful. Very, very valuable. From there, we can play something around that. Now, Kiros obviously can just flip the top card and just kill my Otama extremely, extremely easily. So, let's see. Got rid of Kikinojo and Xabo, very valuable cards, nothing much you can do. Maybe if you're running Kikomori you can get it back, but nothing much after that. Now 6 to life, yeah, we're gonna take this one, that's not a problem. And we got a Jack and another Kusan, wow, we have a, we are a really, really strong hand for the time being. Now, first thing first, let's rest him and let's KO it immediately. Yeah, and then I'm gonna play Bursalino. I could have played Ryuma, but not yet, not yet. I'm gonna go for a few removals later on, not yet. I just wanna have a bit of protection on top of that. Bursalino cannot be KO'd for my opponent's effect, so it's gonna give me a lot of value now. Okay, um, sure, but you cannot KO it. That's the only issue. You have a big, big issue at the moment because you cannot KO my Bruce He cannot be KO'd by opponent's effect. See? You misplay that. You should read the card completely and fully. Now, I have a bit of control in my head. Okay, Viola. Then you're just uh, putting your back face up, which is fine. And then you're gonna go for life. I'm gonna just go Uber Solino and protect myself. Now, it's time to go... Uh, this time to play aggressively, so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna play Otama first, let's see what we get. We got Hiori, which is much more valuable because we can play it out. Cheating it out with Yuma and KO one of card. And then we got another Otama, which we can play later on. So let's see. And then we're gonna play again Otama, just to see. Yeah, we got another Yuma. It's gonna be valuable as well. Okay, next turn, we're gonna be at 8. Uh, let's see. Only one card in my crash, nothing valuable. So we can just replace one of the Otamas with Yuma as well. Let's see what my opponent wants to do from now on. Because then I can play Jack as well, and Jack is going to be crazy strong from now on. Okay, uh, Ice Age, interesting, so you're getting rid of my Ryuma, sure. Uh, unfortunately, no one of my opponent's character are rested, but that's fine, because by doing so, I can even bring him back with Diego Moria as well next turn. Let's see, yeah, I can easily bring him back, but I'm not going to do that, actually. Mm, so, seven to life. I mean, I'm thinking whether to take it or not. You know what, let's give him that. No, 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 no. I can play many things, many shenanigans. However, uh, I don't have any removals at the moment, so the only thing I can think of is playing her, resting his Kuzan because it's too valuable, beat again, bringing him okay, and then... Ooh, I can play Rebecca then. Yes. So I can go fight life, and then play Rebecca. There you go, Rebecca, and getting back Bursa in my hand, and that's it pretty much. Okay, so we still got book control. My opponent has to do his shenanigan again, try to get remove my uh, Ryuma, but from next turn, it's gonna be much, much more trouble because I'm gonna have my Kuzan into the field. Kuzan, you can bring a crazy combo together. Now, 6 to life, mm. you know what, I'm going to leave it better. So, I wonder what you want to play with 8 Dawn. It can get a big body actually, if you're playing with 8 Dawn. We don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, having 3 Otam, okay, Kikonojo, okay. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill Kikonojo. I don't want my opponent to have any valuable card into the field. So, um, we even have even much more ice. So, however, I want you to get rid of one of these cards. Then I'm gonna rest Kikonojo. I'd rather give you back life, honestly. Let's see. Okay, he, he realized that. So. Mm, four pack. Yeah, I can give you. I think he did for one like that. Four to pack. He decided to counter it out as well. Okay, that's fine. Now, I have a Kuzan in my hand. I got another Kuzan here, which means everything I'm gonna play from now on is gonna be KO'd. I mean, I don't even need to play another Kuzan, honestly. But I can, but I don't need to. I mean, next turn, uh, honestly, I'm gonna just do even my Samurai, do a few more cards and play Jack. Okay, Gekomoria. Okay, I need to get rid of Gekomoria immediately. So, Gekomoria is going to play Kikonoja, I believe. Or Kuzan. Okay, Kuzan. Very, very interesting. And then... Hmm, I need to play Jet then. I got no other option. I need to play Jet. Or I can play Gekomoria. Now, Gekomoria is not going to be so I got to play Jet now. So, you can buy some more Jack, get rid of Kuzan, or Geko. 
I mean, I can get rid of many cards, honestly. So let's think, let's think. We, can, we need to breathe around that. Okay, seven weeks down to life. I guess, yes. So we gotta take this one. This is a trigger, definitely getting rid of his blocker. Great stuff. That's the only worry I had, but now it should be okay. Now six, one, and one, two. Because I can bring him back anytime I want to. Now let's, let's work it out. If I give him one life now. No, first of all, let's play Jack. Or not. Let's play YouTube by some rifle, sorry. One and one, two. Two more cards, great stuff. And then we're gonna play Jack instead of one of the Otama. Then, rest Jack. And kill, get rid of one of my thingy and get rid of this card. Now, I'm gonna rest Kuzan. And then we're gonna go, gonna get rid of Kuzan. No, gonna get rid of Kikono just so. Before doing that, I'm gonna go, sorry, cancel. Six, seven. I wanna have book control, full book control. So, eight to Kuzan. You can give me all the cards you have now. Okay? Kikono join is to go away. That's fine. I don't mind giving you one life back. And then we're gonna get rid of that. Great stuff. We have full book control again. And if he doesn't manage to play something around that now, that's me. Because I got another Kuzan in my hand. And from next turn, I can start to go heavily aggressively towards my opponent's life. He's in a troublesome situation. Okay, 5 to face. I mean, that's, that's risky, but I'll, it's gonna be a big no no. Stand on. I don't know what you wanna play. I know for a fact he's trying to build up his boat, please. Sure, but he's removed. Look. Um. Should I do a Gecko combo then? I can do a Gecko combo. I mean, there's many things I can do, honestly. But you know what? I'm gonna play another Kuzan then. Why not? There you go. And then we're gonna go for life. 6 to life, and that's it pretty much. 5, 6, 8, and then I'm gonna go with a big 10k soon. Okay, so he's back at 2 life. I gave him 8 10 gift cards in his hand just to play something around that, but he needs to find a way to counter me now. Now, whatever he plays, I got 2 goes on, so which means all the characters he plays are cost 0. Yep, he, and he really realized that there was no chance for him to win now. Let's see, he had a Rebecca, Viola. Yeah, even if he wanted to remove like my full board, it was going to be almost impossible. I had a way stronger board, so everything was going to be chaotic. Okay, let's start. Let's go for another game. Okay, so we are playing on meta today. Rob Lucci. It's going to be a really fun matchup because we are both playing removals, so we have to go for board control most likely. Let's go straight away playing Momo. Let's go for research and grab even be my samurai and end my turn. Now, let's see what else we can get from there. I already have a removal as well in my field, which can be extremely, extremely useful if I want to lose some removals. We know for a fact that most of the Robinuji's character can be worked back, except that the big body such as Gekomoria, Kuzan, or something silly. But most of the time, he wanna play for removals and more control. So let's see. Big swing to Momo, obviously. He's way to valuable. He lost one Rebecca and one Kaku, which can be broke back anytime he wants to. So, I'm gonna go just fight to life. Let's see if he wants to take that or not. Yeah, he decided to counter it out. We're gonna play Hiori and pass power turn. Now, I, got, I doubt that my opponent wants to remove this character from this early stage of the game. Now, 5 dons, I don't know who we can play as well. Okay, 5 to life. Let's see. I just want to give you a minus 1. There you go. He lost a Hizu. Okay, very, very interesting. And he's playing Kaku. Wow, he's, so, he's going for the removals. Very, very interesting. Now, as he played, as he played like this, then I'm going to give you one helmet four. There you go. I'm going to rest him out. And then I'm going to play my Ryuma very, very soon. So I'm going to go 5 to life first. Very important. Because I don't know if you're going to get a trigger or not. Let's see. Okay. Then, Yuma, they go crazy stuff. And then, to got a bit of board control, still. Mm, I need to find a way to play my... It could be my Samurai discard, at least I can draw a few cards. Other than that, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Now, he's a 7 done, therefore he's not in the range of Gekumori yet. And he's trash, let's see. It's okay, I mean, he just has a Spandin and a Rebecca. Um, nothing much you can do, honestly. So, Spandin, getting another Kaku. High chance that he wants to remove my Yuma now. Very, very high chance. So, 6 to life. Um, yeah, I'm gonna opt to take that because, oh, great, great card, Kuzan. Very beautiful card. No, I believe uh, Kaku is coming back. Very annoying. Nothing much I can do about it. So, um, there you go. Sorry, I, I forgot that he needs to be rested. Okay. Now, unfortunately, uh, I cannot get Rimo back yet. Yet. I wonder if I get a check now. That would be funny. Okay, but I get another Rima, which means I can play my Shenanigan again, again, therefore, I don't go. First save boy, and then I'm gonna draw two cards. There you go, tap tap. Okay. Send him at the bottom of the deck, uh, trash him out, rest him out, and play my beautiful Ryuma again just to get rid of it. And then we're gonna go big six k to life. Okay, we managed to get rid of Kaku, that two of his Kaku, but he brought them back anyway. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, interesting, interesting trash, but he still doesn't have a Robo yet. Okay. So we're playing either for board control or for like total domination for the time being. Now, 
if you decide to remove again, now Gekko Moria is going to come into play. Very, very annoying. It's going to be very, very annoying to deal with Gekko Moria. But um, it doesn't have a Robluchi yet. I mean, Gekko is going to play only Robluchi and Rebecca Combo. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be worth it either. Okay, so he's not playing for that. Sure, I'm not going to try to protect that because, as I said already, this card can be booked back anytime I want. So it's okay. And then he's going, okay, he has no removals yet. Yet. Um, yeah, I'm not going to take that. Jack as well, very, very valuable. I play Kaku, okay, removing that. And let's KO his panda. So, let's go back to face. 90% of the time he won't to take that because he, ooh, silly mistake. Then I'm going to play my cousin, which is going to bring me more value than ever. Next, actually, I can play Jack. If my cousin's into play, I'm going to have full board control because if I got Jack and cousin into the field, 90% of these cards are going to be removed immediately. He needs to commit all the don'ts, all the cards he has to remove my cousin now. He has, he has no more option than remove it. Because if I have cousin and Jack into the field, he's pretty much doomed. Now, six, uh, six cards. I'm sorry, there's a 90% of the chance that most of the cards you're going to play are going to be removed. Okay, getting rid of Gekko Moria. I don't know if it was worth it, but it is what it is. Okay, minus two, eight. That's his man. So you're getting yourself 10 pesky, so you're gonna go to 5. Maybe you'll be able to remove that, but he has to. At what price though? Okay, oh, Sabo, okay. Which means he had nothing else to play around. Hmm. And then when we... Okay, I'm gonna be like, no, I'm gonna give you Rebecca then. There you go. However, however, look at this. Now you have no block and I'm gonna go immediately for board control. So first of all, we're gonna rest Sabo and we're gonna attack it. There you go. Let's go back to Sabo. Then we're gonna establish our board. So there you go, Jack. I'm gonna come into the field. He's gonna stay there forever. And then I'm gonna leave my soldier boy as well. And I'm gonna go six to life. Okay, now it's gonna be even harder. Actually, if you have counted that, you should have taken the life now. Because you have four lives, you could have tried to roll something else. I have five cards in your hand, play something around with that. Now, if you put all the dots you got to remove him, you're gonna turn to. It's gonna be risky. It's gonna be extremely, extremely risky. Okay, ooh, Stasi. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, Kuzan is gone. However, uh, five to life. We can take this one. Yeah, we're gonna take this one. That's fine. And then, no. Come on, that's not gonna happen. That's crazy. No, and that's it. That's not gonna happen. Okay, nine. So let's go to six. Six uh, minus two. So you, oh, sorry, nine minus five is at mm, four. Which I can rest. Yeah, I can rest him actually. You see? There you go. I don't even need to use Jack. There you go. The yacht. Then I can go. I don't even need to use Jack now. What shall I? I don't know. I can be. I can use you to be my samurai. One and one, two. So draw a few more cards. Okay, I have a bit of blocker as well. So I'm gonna go, let's see, 5 to 4, you're gonna take it? Let's, let's see. I mean, if you use 2k counter, that's gonna be crazy, extremely crazy, okay. And then we're gonna go 8 to life, because why not, and then we're gonna deploy our board Salino, which is gonna give us a bit of protection now. From this point onwards, if I go extremely aggressive towards life, I should be okay. I should be okay. I've got one life only left, so I can go for any removals, and I can go extremely aggressive towards my opponent's life. Now. Let's, let's see what this card will do. We place two cards with type CP from the card to the bottom of the deck in any order, that's fine. Give up to one of your opponents minus three cards for the turn. Now, oh, you're not getting rid of my Ruma? Go ahead. Okay. And yeah, there's nothing I can do. So, Brook is going to be KO'd. Okay, that's a big swing coming up to face. Ah, no, that's silly. That's absolutely silly. You shouldn't have done that. I don't even want to use Borsalino. There you go. I got cards in my hand. Why would you do that? Now, Kaku or Brook? Hmm, very interesting. Let's see. Which one shall we move? You know what? I can rest this one. And then I can go 1, 2, 3, 8. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go extremely, extremely heavy. So, first of all, let's trash uh, uh, her. I'm going to go like this. And then whatever goes left, there you go. Tend to you. And then I'm going to go with uh, Otama and maybe grab something. Nothing? That's fine. And then leave. I'm the soldier boy here in case, in case I need to use him. In case. As I said already, I'm in no rush to win this game. Now, Robluchi. Okay, finally he got himself a Robluchi. But look at his trash. Plus, he has 13 cards left in his deck. I mean, he can keep trying, but it's going to be harder and harder and harder and harder to remove that. Now, the only card which can, he can play, it could be Stasi to remove my jet. But at what price? Is it going to be worth it? Mm. Okay, Robluchi is going to play, so you're going to kill my soldier, one like soldier and Utama, maybe. I mean, Tsuru is alright, I just want to leave it as it is for the time being anyway. Yeah, there you go, that's fine. Robluchi is going to be your next turn anyway. So let's see, big swing coming up, again, big, big silly mistake, I don't even want to use that, there you go, that's two, great three stars. Okay, so, leave, oh sorry, minus one to you, then, and trash her, there you go, and then we can go, one, two, three, four, five, Zulu, there's another with Zulu coming up as well, I mean, you should take this one anyway. Okay, then, six, seven, two life, 
I mean, you should take this one. You have to take this one. You have no option. 13 cards. Will I be able to... Ooh. Okay, and then end my turn. I'm gonna keep this 2k only for emergency in case he wants to put all the down he has to remove my jack. I mean, I just want to use Borsalino, but other than that, if he goes with a silly attack again, I'll have another 2k in my sleep. Okay, first time ever, we're pushing. Okay, that's fine. Take, take two, I can bring it back. If I get another game, I can more now, because look, I didn't receive any of my big bodies yet. I only have small bodies in my trash, which means very soon, I'm gonna get a big body coming into, the play, into play, and then it's gonna be game anyway. So let's see. Okay, you're trashing two of your good cards. I mean, you cannot remove Jack. That's crazy. And next, actually, next turn I can even try to go. Next turn I can go for game, honestly. Okay, no, I cannot go for game, so I don't even know Borsalino. Okay, so Kikomori. Chef keys. Absolute chef keys. So, mm, let, let's rest him up. So let's get rid of one. Let's get rid of the other one. So I'm gonna play Borsalino with Gekko. We're gonna play uh, Rebecca. But can Rebecca give me back anyone useful? Let's see. No, I'm gonna play Borsalino then. Okay, I'm gonna play Borsalino and I'm gonna play one left soldier and end my turn. That's it. I got my protection back. I got big bodies into the field. Next one is gonna be game. Great, great stuff. Finally, we are countering one of the meta with Peruna. Now, I'm extremely happy for that. It could be that my opponent made some misplays or he didn't respect my board. It could be that he didn't respect Peruna as a leader and he ended up like losing most of his cards. He has seven cards left in his deck, which means there's nothing much he can do, and on top of that, he lost most of his big bodies. Look, Isho is lost, Gekko is lost, he lost two of the Sabo, one other Isho, Gekko, I mean, it's gonna be really, really tough for him to play around that. Again, he's trying to extremely, extremely aggressively to go for that, but Borsalino, why will I give you that? So there you go, it's gonna be game now, so one. And let's see what you get, nothing, two, and that's game. And whatever I got left, he's gonna go to Peruna. Okay, um, sure, I mean, I wasn't going to attack with him anyway, because I got Peruna, and that's it, buddy. GG. He disconnected. Restart. Let's go for another game. Okay, so we are playing against Yamato. Now, strange. It's gonna be an interesting matchup again. Why not? Let's see if Peronas can counter the double and banish attack from Yamato. Now, I have two of them in my hand. One of them I'm gonna use to grab a Hiori, which will have me to check out my Yuma, and the other one's gonna be you can be my Samurai. I couldn't I couldn't have asked for better cards, honestly. Next, uh, I think he will go into life, yeah sure. I'm gonna take this one, one and one two. Grace up, we got a lot of good cards in our hand. Now, we're to life, and then we're gonna play. Mm, yeah, we're gonna play Borsalino, for the time being. That's it. I don't wanna rush, because there's no point to play Hiori and play Ryuma as well. There's no point to play Rebecca, because I got no cards in my trash. I want him to use few of his event cards and play around that. Next. Next, uh, I'll just see what I can do. Okay, there you go, he's going to banish. We meet him about three cards there, and go for another double swing, but I can counter it out as well. There you go. Borsalino is gone. Now, uh, let's rest him, and then we're gonna use him with my Samurai, draw two more cards, and. Mm, playing it around, yeah. We're gonna play Yuri, we're gonna cheat it out with Ryuma, draw one more card, and then we're gonna go six to life. Now, look at this. We have our hand full of counters. So that's, let me put them together. Mm, that should be it. So two, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for another double swing count, that's crazy. And yeah, you're gonna have one on my helmet, oh, that's fine, because I can bring them back anytime with my beautiful, uh, how you call that? Uh, Gekko Moria. Nine to life, yeah, I'm gonna take this one. Eight on. I can get rid of this. So what I'm gonna do is play check. And then what I have to do is just give minus two, which is be done from. Yeah, I'm gonna use him. Unfortunately, I gotta use this card. Let's get rid of one of the Momo. Say goodbye to you. Then let's go for life. Okay. Let's go six to life. Okay, he decided to complete out. Now, he's at nine dawn. Definitely um, a very big, big swing coming up from. How do you call that? Holy Jones? Yeah, that's Holy Jones' turn. However, if we manage to counter Holy Jones, we should be okay. Let's see. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky. Cody, Cody Jones is gonna be tricky now. So, what do you wanna do? Because if we survive this turn, we can play around that. If we don't, we have to, we have to play around that as well. I mean, I need to just survive one attack, not two of them. I should have enough counter if we play Cody Jones. Other than that, we have to see what we can do from there. Yeah, as expected, Cody Jones. So, I need to counter out Yamato, but I cannot counter out Cody Jones. Okay, that's six to life. That's crazy. So they got us 2k counter out, and then Holy Jones. Yeah, that's a big swing with Holy, 2 life. We're gonna take this one, and that's fine. Now, mm, how can I play around this one? Okay, let's play, you can play some right first. Mm, not, not the greatest time to have him around, but it's okay. Let's get rid of Holy, let's trash out one of the checks. Then, I got 8 done, we're gonna go 6 life. Let's see if he wants to take that. If he takes that, we're gonna go full everything we got left to life, but 90% of the time, he's just gonna counter that. 
Oh, he decided to counter that, so let's try it. That was risky, but 13 life, do we have enough counter? That's the main question. He might do, actually. He might do. So 7, that's 2. Let's see. Okay, that's 10. Let's see what he got rid of. Okay, another Holy Jones. Okay, so this card gonna give you plus 1k. You need 2 more k and 1k. Do you have it? 1k more? Wow, he was extremely, extremely close. That was extremely, extremely close game. But it is what it is. That's part of the game. Okay, so we are playing against Gekko Moria. And funny enough, we have our Gekko Moria, our own Gekko Moria in our hand. Now, nothing much I can do, so we're gonna pass our turn. Let's see. Activate main, you need to pay 1 down. Rest the stage. If you leader has a steady back, okay? You may play up to 1. Cause 2 or lower 3 part type character from your trash reset. Very, very useful. Now, root 2 card, trash 2 card, very interesting as well. Mm, okay, I'm getting rid of Absalom. Okay, which means he wanna bring it back later on and play around with that. Now, 6 life. Let's take that, let's see what we get. We get Jack. Okay, can be useful in the stage of the game. So let's rest him and let's just attack it. Obviously, he's just gonna let it go because I don't see the reason to give him a life. I mean, go to catch, catch, catch as well. Very useful. I think he's gonna fix your hand again. And then we're just gonna pass our turn. We kill into the field. Sure, that's one and one, two. Okay. So there you go. I mean, this stage is kind of useful because you can bring back this dog over and over and over again just to fix your, keep fixing your hand. I mean, that's a really good mulligan. However, I don't know how valuable. I mean, many players don't tend to play this stage anyway. So, 6 to life and playing, let's see. I mean, Absalom is not going to bring you any value as well. As well at the moment. If you want to kill my Hyori, I mean, go ahead. I don't want to, I don't want to be the one stopping you. So, discard one card, discard two cards from your trash, then from the deck, and then play something else. Maybe you want to play. Let's see, do you have a Corona yet? No, you're playing Kaku. Wow, okay. And then, hop back. You just can recycle a few cards from the trash to your hand. Mm, let's see. Now, first thing first, I'm. You know what is, I'm really keen to take this hit. I don't know, I'm really keen to take that. Or should I, play? Should I just let Suruko? Because Suruko might bring me value later on. But even, yeah, actually, even uh, one like Soldier. Yeah, they all gonna bring me value anyway. Mm, let's see. No, I'm gonna let uh, Suruko then. Or should I take this out? Mm, no, let's, let's let Suruko. It's not worth it to go all the way down to lives. That's gonna be a 6. Huh? Then Momo can come into play. Let's see if we get any more valuable. Yuma, sure. Sorry, let's rest him, let's cheat him out with Ryuma, let's kill with that card, and that's my third Gekko for my deck, that's crazy. And then, oh yeah, my opponent has to root to card, trash to card. Okay, and one more. Okay, nothing valuable in my trash, so I just gonna go big swing to my opponent's life, and that's it pretty much. Obviously, you wanna take that because he has 5 glass still, and he needs card from his hand, for his hand. Wow, he's counting them out? Why will you count them out now, at this stage of the game? That's a 9k swing, it's not a 6k swing. Why will you do that? I think he misrode like my attack, but okay, that's fine, that's absolutely fine. Because from next turn, you're gonna be in much, much more, more, more trouble than this one. Okay, so let's see. On play, he managed to do on my character, that's fine. Ryuma, I mean, you're gonna bring back. Oh, you're just gonna play, you're just gonna have to play Absalom. That's crazy, but sure, go ahead. Now, from this turn onwards, I already won the game. Because whatever you play around, I just wanna counter it. There you go. You kill my Yuma, you forgot the fact that you can kill one of your rest characters as well. Extremely, extremely risky if you're gonna be doing that. Now, hard to life. If you go to Momo, I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, Momo can go, that's fine. Now, mm, let's play some shenanigans then. So I'm gonna give minus one to you, and guess what? They're gonna kill Yoi, and let's get rid of. Oh my god, I got like way too many in my hand anyway. Then we're gonna go five to life. Obviously, you're gonna take that, and I'm gonna leave one Momo into the field just for a quick search for later on in the street later on. Um, okay. Why will you do that now? I mean, that's crazy, but if you wanna do that, that's fine. On top of that, I can get it back. I can easily, easily get it back. No, you need to put more downs. If you wanna commit to kill my jack like that, then... No, I don't, that was silly, honestly, that was absolutely silly. We should have never do that, honestly. Because I will never gonna let him go like that easily. One, and one, two, there you go. Now I can bring back Rebecca or Yuma. I'm gonna bring back Yuma then. Yuma and... So, uh, my, my little soldier, kill the blocker and attack. Sure, you're just rushing for cards, I see, you already lost a few good cards. So let's rest him, and I'm gonna play Gekko Moria, which is gonna bring back Ryuma and my soldier and kill him, that's fine. Mm. And then, you know what? We're gonna, gonna rest him and him, draw two more cards, get rid of another body of yours. And I'm gonna attack with Jack, only for the reason that I want to bait my opponent to attack Jack. I want to put all the dons he has to attack Jack, and I just gonna let it go, because I got another one in my hand anyway. 
and I can bring him back with two cards as well later on if I need to, if, it's a big big if, but I already have one Kikomori into the field, and my opponent in a, is in a troublesome situation. Now, we're gonna do who should we kill? Mm, now, even if we play Kikomori, I already have full board control, I have plenty of good cards in my hand, very dangerous cards as well, extremely good for removals, and my opponent is playing, okay he's playing a mix of navy, and a few other cards, but, mm, okay. Now, are you gonna try it again? Are you gonna try it again to get rid of my check like you did before? It's not gonna be worth it. So, one, two. See, it's still playing a risky, risky game. There you go. We came to check. It doesn't, it doesn't even happen like that. I mean, even if I can go. I mean, I can do one and one. Easily. Yeah, one and one. I'm not gonna let him go like that. That's, that's silly, honestly. Okay, let's play. You can play some right one and one, two. That's it. I got a few more cards. I mean, I can play another check now. I can play Gekko Moria and bring back. Yeah, let's go like this. Let's trash him. I'm gonna play another Gekko Moria. I'm gonna play Yuma and I'm gonna play Soldier Boy instead of him. And let's kill him. That's it. Then the block is gone. I mean, you just gotta let it go. And 8 and 9 to life. And 9 to life. That's it. Then I got other, uh, two more strong bodies into the field as well. There is nothing my opponent can do anymore. And I'm really hoping for him to attack to my Jack. No, he's still playing the blocker, I don't understand why. I think he has a personal ground crouch against uh, Jack. Definitely has a personal crouch against Jack. Yeah, he's going heavy, he's gonna try whatever he got to get rid of Jack. If you, get, if you wanna go for Gekko Moria, I mean, go, for, go ahead, I mean, I don't even wanna try to protect him, I got another one into the field. But that's pretty much game. Next one I can go for game. I mean, again, 10 to Gekko Moria, that's crazy and that's silly, honestly. Because look, I still got two more kids. You have to understand that if you play against an opponent, he, 90% of the time, he has gonna, he's gonna have one or two key counters. And I really don't understand how he's playing. And top of that, look, he lost all the good cards he could have played. That's crazy. And I got the feeling my opponent is just gonna, uh, just gonna quit now. I mean, I don't know what he's doing. I think it's bad at the moment, but I got the feeling he's just gonna quit. So there's nothing much you can do. I'm gonna protect my Gecko and next time I'm gonna go for game. I'm gonna rest with my leader effect, I'm gonna rest the dog. And that's it pretty much. Okay, Absalom, we're getting rid of my one leg soldier, that's fine. Which means you have no more counter as well. No more counter in your hand as well. So let's see. There's gonna be a big attack coming up next. 899. Nine. I don't I don't even need to put the downs here. So no block air one and one two, and a three party. Going nine nine nine, another nine, maybe another nine or ten here, I don't know. Whatever downs are left. So there you go, that's what I see him. You know what? I can go eight, nine, nine. That's it. Okay, that's one. That's two. And there is another one coming with the Komoria and that's game buddy. And that's it. Let's go for another game then. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a new player with Pico Moria, that's why he made all these mistakes. It happens, yeah, he's learning to play with this leader. Now, let's go for another game then. Okay, so we are playing against Dr. Pekapunk. It's gonna be a very, very interesting matchup to see. Let's see how it goes. Now, obviously, our opponents decided to go for first. Nothing much you can do at the moment, so he's just gonna pass. I'm gonna use my uh, Momo just to pull my Ryuma, which is gonna bring me so much value against my opponent, especially through the fact that most of his bodies are cost uh, 5 or less, which I can play around that. Now, next, mm, let me see. Trigger after one of your, I get the leader. Carrot has 2000 power for the next turn. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I'm gonna go just, I'm gonna look quick search, sorry. Grab Utama. Then, Utama, I'm gonna deploy it again. We're gonna grab Izumi by Samurai. I don't wanna grab Hiyori at the moment. She's not bringing me much of a value. So, we're gonna go 7 to life. And if he wants to take it, he takes it. But it's bringing you no value at all, especially with that Azo. Now, end my turn. Obviously, Vegapunk cannot attack. So, he, he just needs to develop his board. However, he needs to be extremely, extremely careful because I'm already at the mid, I'm at the mid stage of the game where I have four dons. Now six dons from there is going to be very troublesome. He's not playing anybody yet. That's very, that's crazy. So let's go like this. We're going to play two cards. We're going to go six to life and leave Hiyori into the field. By doing so, at least we know we can play Yuma anytime soon. That's crazy that he's not playing any card yet because he knows most of his cards are going to be KO'd. Okay, let's play Hiyori and let's pass our turn. I have two Yumas in my hand which are going to bring me so much value. To the fact that if we place anyone, I'm gonna kill it immediately. If you wanna send them to life, that's fine. No. Okay, interesting. Now, if your life is lower than your opponents, this character cannot be killed in battle. But, however, however, um, I'm not killing it in battle, I'm just sending it to. Ooh, I can play it from the trash as well. Mm, okay, so how do I play around that? Okay, let's play another Otama then. Let's see if I can get something. Nothing. Okay. Now I got a few cards to play around seven. Okay, let's go five to life first. Let's see what he wants to do. Okay, so you're playing Frankie, then I can rest Frankie or give him minus one. Hmm. 
There are many things I can do. Actually, I think I should get rid of Atlas brings, because it brings too much damage. So, let's play Helm Mepo. Let's give minus 3 to you. Then, I can rest you. Cheating you out with uh, Yuma and Kiwid. We get Yuma by Samurai. Great stuff. And then, we got it again. So, we're gonna do it again. So, Helm Mepo and him. Okay, three more don't active. Can I play anyone else which can bring me value at the moment? No, but I'm gonna leave a Soldier Boy instead of one of my Otama. There you go. Oh, I'm thinking if I should get rid of my Helmepo. Actually, no, because I can attack a little Helmepo if I want to, but it's extremely rare, but I can do that as well. Okay, Kedatsu, sure, and there's nobody I can kill because they're not rested. It's fine, that's fine. Uh, sure, you can get rid of it, no problem at all. From next turn, you gotta be extremely, extremely careful. Okay, Frank into life, now. I got my check into the field. I'm gonna give Pluton to Helmepo then. Yep, yeah, Pluton to Helmepo, I'm gonna attack. Okay, that's fine, that's gone. Now he thinks he's uh, Gidatsu is alive. No, nope, because they go ahead and I say we're gonna crush one of the Jack. That's a good boy to him. And then attack for to life. Okay, restart. We still have more control, and from next turn he is in so much trouble. Whatever he plays, it will be immediately, immediately killed. I mean, yeah, Jack cannot be killed as well because it has, it has a cost of 11. I mean, this card, I don't know how it can be legal. It's way, way too dangerous. Now, my hand is completely overpowered at the moment. I got all the removals I need. I got all the removals I need in my trash as well. I mean, not all of them, but some of them. I got a Kuzan in my hand. Whatever he plays, it will be KO'd from the next turn. He will have no more opportunity to win. Sure, Lilith, Lilith's gonna be KO'd. Let's see who we're getting. I am, no, I am in no rush to win. You're getting stuff a 2k counter, that's fine. I'm not going for game yet. I'm gonna hand Starby first, and from there we'll be around that. Now, you cannot send... Mm. Now, how can I go? I'm gonna KO him. And... I mean, I can play Kuzan, but Kuzan is not valuable at the moment. So, you know what, let's go, he's at 5, I just need to give him minus 2 again, he's at 5, minus 2, he's gonna go to 3, so 2, yeah, just 2 will do anyway, so he's at 3, let's rest him, let's get rid of one of my jack, let's get rid of it, 9 dawns, and I can play, I mean, I can play so many things actually, you know what, 1, 2, 3, let's go 6 to life, now, okay, he decided to come it out, now I'm gonna leave 2 down open, because I wanna play my, um, Ryuma, once he plays back, I'll leave it, there you go, he gets played, let's see, let's rest him, there you go, and let's play Ryuma, and that's it pretty much, full board control. Now, my opponent is in a terrible, terrible situation, because whatever he plays, it will be killed. Okay, Yams, sure, but even Yamato will be killed now, look at that. Now he will freak out, because I know for a fact, he will think, okay, how is it possible that he's killing in my Yamato as well? Look at that. Now, let's play Kuzan, he's at minus 5, therefore he's at 4. Then, I can give minus 1 again, minus 6, there you go, let's trash. Hmm, Rebecca then, and they go, say goodbye to your thingy, and then, I don't even want to give you your, leader, um, your life trigger, because I want to play it from the next turn. Now, I've got Kuzan in my, my field, you have nothing else you can do around that. And also, I can play Ryuma with my Dikomoria next. Yep, you're in a troublesome, troublesome situation. Who you wanna play? There is no way out of it now. Okay, Ace, sure, you're gonna be removed as well. So, 5. Um... Then I can do the Kikomori combo. 5, I just need to give him minus. Just 2 more. I can play Ryuma and... Do I have anyone else? Oh, I don't have that. Oh, I got, I got one Alex Soldier, so... Let's play him instead of... Oh no, Helmepo. And I'm gonna play him instead of Otama. And I'm gonna play Helmepo again instead of him. I'm gonna use Helmepo effect. Oh, I cannot kill it. Mm, oh, sorry, that's fine, I forgot. I wanted to kill it to check. Let's re get rid of Helmepo and say goodbye to your ace. So, 7 to life. Let's see, any trigger? Nothing? No. Therefore, I don't want to give you anything else. I don't want to attack with my yet. My board is getting stronger and stronger and stronger now. How are you going to counter it? Yams? Okay, wow. <laughs> I didn't realize we both had so many, so much lives. But, okay, Shaka? That's fine. Yams is at 4 already. I mean, I can even rest it as a attack. 4, but I don't think there's any reason for that. I mean, I can do another Kiko play. Which, which I think I should, I'm going to do that. You know what? Let's rest him. Because by doing so, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to play Ryuma. Instead of her, and then nobody else, so I can kill it anyway. So let's bring in. Are we bringing Shaka? Maybe, let's see. Okay. Now, Shaka is already at kind of useless, so we're gonna trash our um, Rumor and kill it. Then we're gonna play two more. We're gonna let you play another one. Let's see if we're gonna play. You can play where we want. You're gonna play Shaka again? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, Shaka back into the game. Mm, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I don't, I don't wanna attack with my Kuzan yet. Yet. How are we gonna counter it now? We have another Yamato, looks like, maybe, maybe not. Okay, uh, Atlas and Elite, who are you looking for? I managed to get rid of one, two, three, four big, big, massive bodies. 
That's crazy. This Perona actually is way stronger than there. It looks like. Okay, there you go. Still, you got, you got, there's nothing you can do around it. So let's go, let's get rid of one. Oh, that one is connected because you realize there is nothing much you could have done. I could have gone for like that forever. Honestly. Look, I had another good in my boot in my life. That's it. Next cooldown, everything will be removed. Great stuff. Let's go for another game then. Okay, so we are playing against Green Purple Don't Come You. Very, very interesting leader due to the fact that he can play um, Birch Cage and play Fusion Angels here and there. Now, definitely gonna grab our Yuma and then we're gonna play our uh, Momosuke and leave it as it is. Now, from now on, I'm gonna play Justice Kung Samurai. You're drawing two cards. Obviously, if I can do a search with Momosuke, why not? I just wanna do that. Other than that, that's fine. Now, we're gonna counter it out with 2k. And my opponent playing Sugar. Very interesting. Which is resting my Momo. Obviously, Momo is not giving you any value. Now, let's rest Sugar and let's, let's hard play Yuma for the time being, actually. No, no, there's no need for me to play Yuma, so let's rest these two, grab two cards. We have three more, so one, two, three. Sugar needs to go away. It's way, way too dangerous. Eight to zero, sugar needs to go. I mean, even if you have like counter power in your hand, there is no value at all. Now, we have a bit of counter power in our hand as well. Let's see if my opponent wants to play a card with a cost of four or less, and from there we can play around that. Sure, Momo can go away, and you know for fact it's not gonna bring me any value. Queen, hmm, I'm gonna kill it now. Zuru and Yuma are gonna be costing me five, which should be good. So, trashing one bird cage, it means you have another bird cage in your hand. Now, if I give you Tsuru minus two, yeah, I, I gotta do that. So let's rest him and let's kill it immediately with our Yuma. And then we can go six to life. Now you can use one of your event cards such as Spiderweb or Fan Gibson to rest my Yuma, that's fine. Other than that, oh, you're playing Norman Robin Soul, that's right? Wow, okay. So he's gonna give me minus 2k and rest uh, my Yuma then. Yep, that's fine. For the ones, this high chance bird cage is coming to play and keeping my Yuma completely locked. Yeah, that's predicted it was going to happen. It was going to happen anyway. So there you go. I'm just gonna counter out with one uh, Rebecca. Now, mm, I got eight Dawn, I can bring back Rebecca and Suru, but they bring me no value at all. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, there you go, six with uh, Suru, and then I'm gonna put two more to my Rebecca and attack again. So at least I'm gonna have Starry as well. There you go. And you're definitely gonna take this one, or you're gonna use an event card from your hand. He opened to take that, which is fine. I mean, my Suru is bringing me no value at all, so I need to find a way to remove my opponent's card. Now, I want him to get rid of my Yuma, but I got the feeling he's not gonna do that. So maybe I can play around with Rebecca. Yeah, I have to see how I can play around that. So five to five, yep, let's take that. Another Kikomoria, not much of a value. Yeah, because having too many Kikomori in your hand. I mean, what do you want to do with that anyway? Seven Dawn. Maybe use your Captain Kid. So you can keep your Oh, you can keep I'll talk he's going to play your Captain Kid, but he's doing extremely extremely aggressive with that. Now uh, sure, let's take this another another Hiori. Another Hiori, wow. Um I don't have any removals as well. So what I'm gonna do? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 to 15 to Hodijon, sorry. And I mean, it needs to go. I mean, if you want to use all the cards you have in your hand, go ahead, it needs to be one event card, plus a lot of cards. Yep, as I told, it's better to just let it go. And I can believe that I'm at 8 turn, 8 turn turn, and I still don't have a good valuable card which can be used. Okay, um, let's see. Still nothing valuable. Extremely, extremely annoying. Okay, sure, it's going away. That's weird, but if you want to get rid of it, you can get rid of it. Then, I need to find a way to play around my opponents. Okay, that's an 8k swing. Let's take this one. Okay, one soldier and another useless card. <sighs> it's kind of annoying. Now, yeah, I'm going to do the Rebe Gecko with Rebecca and Zuru. Zuru instead of Zuru. We're going to use Zuru's effect, and I don't have any card to draw. Let's rest him, and let's go 1, 2, 7 to life then. I guess there's nothing, no other option for me at the moment, so let's go for it. It's extremely, extremely annoying. I only got bricks in my hand, not a single valuable card. Seven, I'm okay, that's fine. I mean, I, I do have the counter power in my hand. I only have counters though. I need to find a way to play around that and just eat up in my opponent's board. Obviously, obviously, at this turn, if he doesn't play anything to get minus one down, I'm gonna play another Gikomoria and I'm gonna play around that. Other than that, we should be okay. Now, Queen is bringing you no more value. I forgot the Birdcage, but keep him locked as well. Then down, maybe, maybe Gekumo, uh, Doofy, but even Doofy is not gonna bring you much of a value either. You attack me with 1k, I wanna get rid of all my Hiori because, obviously, you know, that it's not bringing me any value. I mean, I was in a terrible situation up to now, but I've realized Spirit Cage is, in a, uh, is a two way factor and it works in both ways. If my character is blocked, your character is blocked as well. Um, So let's see. Sugar, resting my Rebecca. Okay, very, very interesting. Mm. Sugar is very, very valuable. However, I can found that as well. And Queen, okay. You're moving on down, so extending your Birdcage. Very, very interesting. Um, so 7 to life. No, I need to start to counter out as well. Two and one, there you go. Okay, three stuff. Now, first thing first, I'm gonna attack. Ten to life. Sorry, nine to life. 
then okay one more key okay two more key then play out kusan or not mm. kusan or no kusan because then yeah let's play kusan and let's replace it with Tsuru let's KO one of the blockers obviously Sugar gonna block him as well but Sugar gonna be rested as well after that let's see I mean I could have played another Gikomori but mm, it's not gonna bring me much of a value anyway sure let's see Gikomori yeah, it wasn't going to bring me much of a value anyway and we're gonna go first life and if he rests his queen it's okay otherwise it should be okay as well okay he decided to country it out now I just need to survive one attack from my opponent either from the leader or from queen doesn't matter which one and I should be okay to counter that I mean, if you put all the only one, I think I can complete it up with my other cards anyway. Mm, next, uh, yeah, there are so many things I can do. Obviously, I'm gonna attack Sugar immediately next. That's, that's gonna be my first attack with my, my uh, Rebecca. Oh no, with my Verona, sorry. So they got 10 to life. I think it's going for game, so it's gonna be 2, 2, 1, and mm, 1. And then if you attack with Queen, I mean, it's gonna, I don't know how valuable it's gonna be. Unfortunately, no Ryuma yet in my field. Nothing much I can do. So I need to try to cook for game as well. Uh, so I can get none because there was none left. Okay, now. Mm, I need to play in a smart way, so Kikomoria. Oh no, no Kikomoria. Yeah, I can play Kikomoria as well, so let's rest him, sorry. Let's rest him. I can go 10 to life. Let's see. Mm, I can play Giko, get a bit of defense, or I can go for game. I can try to go for game, honestly. So let's see, 9 to life, let's see if he wants to take that. Actually, no, I don't want to be greedy now. I don't want to be greedy. Yeah, I decide not to be greedy. Instead, playing more defensively. Mm, I can bring back Ryuma. Yeah, there you go. That's why. Never be too greedy. So, Gekko to Rebecca or Gekko to Ryuma. I mean, Purple doesn't run any rush card. Maybe he can have another Hoji Jones though. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go like this. Get rid of him. Okay, and then we're gonna go like that. And we're gonna play defensively. So, Rebecca and soldier the boy with it is it and not cut from the trash and that's it pretty much now i could have been greedy but it's, it's, you can never be too risky you never know if you're gonna draw a uh, hoodie jones or not because we already saw before he had one of them somewhere here oh yeah there you go oh, wow big, big swing coming through phase 15 to life sure we're gonna take this one and that's pretty much game then so that's nine. Oh, here it's only gg that's nine and that's ten and that's ten Okay, Chris stuff, he already told me GG, that's fine. Pretty much I just wanna see which card he has in his uh in his hand and that's it. I mean even if you can't like see low, upper okay, nothing much, nothing special. Alright, let's go for another game. Okay, so we are playing against Monkey D Luffy. It's gonna be a really, really interesting matchup due to the fact that even if I kill his board, he would be able to find a way to play around that. Now, I just gonna put my um on Lex Soldier and let's pass my turn. That's it pretty much for the time being. Obviously my opponent's gonna go heavy and aggressively towards my lives due to the fact that he knows that most of his cards will be removed as well from early stage of the game. Now I got one more more, definitely gonna do a quick search, let's see who we find. Hyori or no Hyori is not bring me any value, so I just wanna be bro, you can be my samurai. Gonna do it again. Why not? Let's do for, let's go for another search, Ryuma, sure. And then we're gonna go for to life, which is fine. If he gets a trigger from his life and he wants to get rid of one my Momozuki, I'm more than happy for that, due to the fact that he's gonna lose a card from his hand as well now. Looks like he found a trigger. Let's see if it's the egg head Luffy or not. Okay, so he rolls up, which means he found an event card. Yep, there you go, let's see. Yeah, three, one, three brothers spawn, which is okay. Now, definitely he doesn't want to go for my board. He's just going to go extremely, extremely aggressive towards my life now. Um, yes, I have one key counter as well in my hand, which is good. So, Rosabo, you're crushing, you're crushing the babies, which means you have a Gekomori as well. You're playing with Gekomori. Okay, back to life, I believe. No, he just, he opting to don't attack as well. Very, very interesting. Now, I'm going to go, you can buy some white resting these two cards, which is okay. And I get another check, which is, which is funny, honestly. However, let's see. Um, then I'm going to go just six to life and play Pusalino just to keep, keep get a bit of protection in my side as well now. There you go. And let's deploy your Bussalino and let's end our turn. Now, how we can play around this one. Obviously, Jack is going to bring me so much value. Okay, another Rosabo, which means my opponent has decided to sort out his hand as well. Okay, get rid of one baby. I'm going to get rid of another baby then. Okay, still I can go extremely, extremely aggressive towards my opponent. However, that's going to be 7 to life. I'm going to be like 2 and give you 2k from Otama. And if you want to attack with, uh, he decides to not, not obtain, which is good. So, Jack going to be into play. Okay, you know what? Let's go for to life. Let's see if he wants to give it out. 90% of the time, they just opting to take that anyway. Okay, great stuff. We're gonna deploy Jack, and then we're gonna play again. You can put my Samurai resting these two cards to draw two more cards. Great stuff. At least I have one blocker, plus I can start to go for my removals as well. I need to be extremely, extremely careful how I play around this leader. So next, I'll be able to play Kuzan, 
if it doesn't play another sabo and from there we should have game it should be golden honestly so let's see i mean uh at this turn maybe gikomori can bring you a bit of value i don't know yet um you have enough cards but you need to go down to one life therefore gikomori i don't know you need to be you need to think how you want to play around now of course if you go five to life it'll be golden for me as well because it's due to the fact that i can just um crush my rebecca and that's it pretty much so he hoped he just to take life which is okay however however to be so into the trash gikomori is not bringing you any value you need to go to work so let's see what do you want to do mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be a tricky situation now my opponent has to decide what to do because next turn i'll be able to get rid of both of the sabos actually and I don't want to go for game because I won't be able to go for game due to the fact that Luffy is going to go at, at 9k, I think. However, I'm going to have a big board into the field. Now, Sabo, you can crash. Okay, uh, you can kill your, my toy soldier, my next soldier, and my Momo then. Okay, there you go. That's fine because I, I need a bit of space anyway in my hand. So, he opting to turn, at, not attacking. So, I just want to play Kuzan, which is going to kill one of your Sabo, and he's a 3. So, guess what? I'm going to rest him, I'm going to crash one of the check because I've got way too many in my hand anyway. And then I'm going to go fight for life, so you have to give me another card from your hand now. Okay, that's fine. And then, you know what? That's it pretty much, because I want you my Bursalino. He's still, still valuable. On top of that, he cannot be killed from my opponent's effect. Great, great stuff. Now, just, let you, just to make my opponent aware, whatever he plays from now on, is gonna be killed thanks to this Kuzan, and he's gonna bring me so much value. This sub as well, is not gonna bring you any value. Um, yeah, you can bring one back, from there maybe you can try to play something around, but I don't have to develop my board as well. Now, next, I'm gonna beat again, gonna get rid of my jack, and we're gonna play around that. Now, of course, I'm gonna play Gomori now, however, I wanna make sure I'll be able to hand start him as well. Okay, Sabo one and Luffy, sure. This Luffy don't want to bring you any value at the moment, especially to the fact that um, my Bursalino cannot be killed. However, however, yep, that's good. You're playing a bit safer, which is okay. So Sabo is just bringing you so much value actually at the moment. However, it's not going to be forever too. It's not going to be forever, so what I'm going to do, I just want to keep building on my board. There you go, that's a big swing to life. Ooh, let's think. You know, there's no way I just want to let it go like that. It's way too valuable at the moment, honestly. On top of that, I can start to put a bit of pressure towards my opponent as well. Mm, how do I play around that? I can play to Rebecca as well. Actually, you know, let's play more Rebecca and let's play back Borsalino. And I can play anyone, but I'm not gonna do that because I just wanna bring back Borsalino. And I think I'm gonna just gonna pass my turn. But actually, I can put a bit of pressure as well. There you go. Go to life. At least you have to give me one of your blocker. There you go. Great stuff. Now I've still got two blockers. I'm still countering my opponent's Luffy. We all know that this Sabo can come back any anytime. Anytime, however. I just want to keep putting as much pressure as I want because I want my opponent to hand star as well. He doesn't want to have this hand forever. Of course, um, there you go, that's another one. So you already have six cards in your hand. So again, Sabo's coming back, which is okay, Gikomori, sure. You're just gonna reshuffle your, your, uh, your trash. However, however, remember the fact that, um, you're already hand starring as well. You're going to card, crashing to card, still playing around that. You need to be very, very careful how you play around now. Because I'm gonna put a lot of pressure with this Kuzan, honestly. So one is gone. And then another Luffy. Okay, great stuff. Now, are you gonna attack my Kuzan? No, because it's not gonna bring you any value. You're gonna go for life. Me, I'm not gonna let you do that. Because the way you can play around that, I can play around as well. So let's see. Make life, you go Rebecca, and you have no removals. Therefore, my Rebecca, I'm gonna play my Rebecca around that. So, let's see. Actually, I should have got a red little Borsalino, but it's okay. Mm, how can I play around that? Okay, let's have to put a bit of pressure towards my opponent. So you have to give me one of the blockers. Let's see which one I'm gonna give out. Okay, that's fine. Let's play Rebecca. Let's grab Jack then. And we don't play anyone around that because I'm gonna put all the ones I got left to, uh, to my uh, Rebecca. Perdona, sorry. I have been confusing the names and I'm gonna go 11 to life. Now, you have to give me the blocker or you have to play around that. Okay, one of the blockers is gonna gain. Great, great stuff. Now, I got two blockers. I got three lives and I'm in a very comfortable situation. On top of that, I got not much of a counter in my, in my hand, which is okay. I got two, four, six, seventy worth of counter. I mean, I'll be able to play my, protect my cousin as well. But, let's remember the fact, his hand starving as well. That's the main important criteria at the moment for me. Nothing else. So let's see how we want to play around that. Garb, I'm trying to look for another Sabo. I think he's looking for another Sabo at the moment. So, if he doesn't find a Sabo, this whole board will be removed. Ace, okay, interesting. Let me see how many baby he has. One, two, three. Okay, three of them are already in trash. Which means if he doesn't find another Gikomoria, he won't be able to play around that. So, eight life. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna take that. I have my own Gikomoria now. I can play my own combos. So, another big swing coming up. Maybe sacrificing Borsalino. Uh, actually, no. So that's two. Two and one. There you go. Oh, I just gave it all the two, so that's fine. <laughs> now, one, two, two attackers. Left, maybe. I don't know if we'll be, we'll be able to play um, Sabo or not. Yeah, hard dropping Sabo, I think. Ace. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Therefore, he has no more Sabos. So, his blocker is flying away from the window. Sure, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. And if you don't have a baby Sabo now in your hand, you're in trouble. Um, you know what? We're just going to take that now. We've lost game pretty much. 
So that's it. Now, let's rest him, let's rush one of my little tags, say goodbye to him, and we're gonna go back to life, and then again, to life, to king to life, so that's pretty much game. So GG. Yep, we already have started him, nothing else, but restart, let's go for another game. Okay, so we are playing against king. Nothing much I can do for the time being, we're just gonna pass our turn, and then we're gonna wait for a few big cards. Still, nothing more, nothing valuable yet, so let's go 8 to life, and let's, let's make our opponent draw one card. Now, 5 to 5 is, yep, we're gonna take that as well, Restart. off, we got Abor Salino, which is gonna give us a blocker. Now, definitely, you shouldn't be using your... Yeah, leader's effect at the moment because it's not going to be much more value. So let's see what he wants to do. You get yourself a queen, so you want a bit of protection for your side as well. Great, great. Now, we're going to go 6, life. And then Borsalino, just to have a bit of protection from our, our opponent's KO effect. Now, there you go. Count it out. However, I'm going to play Borsalino and the same as I said before. Now, let's see how much contract I got in my hand. The effect are definitely going to be removed, so... I mean, I just consider it to the trash because at the moment it's not bringing me any value, which is okay. So, let's see what my opponent wants to do. Let's see, let's see. There are many things you can do. So, one of the two is already into the trash. So, seven to life, I'm gonna be like, no, and I'm gonna give you, um, yeah, my just my, my soldier, one card for me, and that's it pretty much. Five, six, seven, mm, I'm not getting any valuable card at the moment yet. I need check. Once I get check, I'll start to play around that. Okay, stretching one of these guided leanings. Okay, very, very dangerous card, and I need to keep one of my Ice Age in my hand just for safety. Now, I still have no removals yet, so all I can do is just play Bursaline again, and then go one, two, three. Yeah, nothing much, so I just gonna play another Borsalino and play in the six side. Okay, great stuff, there you go, another Borsalino. Still haven't found any of my land opponent cards or any valuable cards which can which I can play around. I only have one card in my trash. I mean I can do the combo between the combo and the back, etc. However, I'm not gonna do it yet. I need to find either one jack or something more valuable until I reach ten down. I just need to hold strong just for a little longer. Now, I need to make sure I do uh deploy this Kuzan before this card leaning comes into play as well. Because with this Kuzan, actually I'll be able to rest this card leaning. And if I have a Ryuma, guess what? He will be killed immediately. Now, let's see what my opponent wants to do. They're going to get rid of these three cards. So, 5 to 5, um, that's going to be an easy no, no counter. Actually, I could have used Borsalino, but you know what it is? You never, you never know what, what our opponent wants to play. Maybe he wants to play the Dendrop no Queen now? We don't know yet. Let's see how my opponent wants to develop the board. Then cost Kaido. Sorry, then cost uh, Kaido. Very, very dangerous. However, there's no point for you to use that. I mean, this character effect yet, due to the fact that my Borsalinos cannot be killed by opponent's effect. So, let's see what you're gonna do, you just wanna keep it into, into the field, you gotta be very very careful though. He's still going for it, okay, that's fine. Uh, I won't be able to stop you towards that. Uh, 9, so let's take this one, another Kuzan, wow. Not one of the greatest valuable card. Wow, finally, finally we've got something valuable. So let's get rid of the card first. So I can give you minus 3, minus 3, yeah, I'm gonna do that then. So that's 3, he's at 6. 6, yeah, read it one more time, so let's go again. And then we can play, actually before we do that, let's rest, it, let's rest these two cards, we have Momo now, however that's fine, we're gonna go like this, and, mm, yeah, just gonna attack back to life, let's see if he wants to give me a card, or he wants to use queen, he's opting to take queen, which is okay, because next turn, finally I'll be able to play Kusan, finally, and from there we'll be able to play something bigger, now, he's back at 7 down, extremely valuable, extremely dangerous, as always, and maybe he'll be able to play something else around that, but at the moment, only small body gonna come into the field, until he doesn't get Kaidolin Lin, however, if he gets Kaidolin Lin, it's not gonna be any value, it's not gonna bring you any more value at the moment, only to the fact that, um, on the queen, sure, this one is playing outside the window, and then, if you wanna go 7 to life, I can protect myself as well. I mean, yeah, actually no, what I'm gonna do, is just keep my Borsalinus into the field, as I've realized, in this matchup, Borsalinus is more valuable than my Rebecca blocker. So, he's trashing another Kaidolin Lin, okay, it's, it's okay. So let's see, let's see. Yeah, you definitely have to go 7 to life, and I gonna opt in to take that, honestly. Okay, there you go, 7 to life, no blocker, I'm gonna take that. Yes, great stuff, we get Jack as well in our hand. Now, let's play immediately our uh, Kuzan, and let's give one of his, uh, uh, sorry, I forgot almost to rest him. There you go, let's put a bit of pressure as well, sorry, 6 to queen, 6 to 6, you're gonna just counter that, then I'm gonna go 5 to life, and that's it pretty much. Okay, great stuff, he had to give me 1 2k from his hand, which means my opponent's already running out of card to counter me around with. Now, you can play your 9 and cost Kaido again, you can do it, however, just to let you know, he will be removed immediately next turn. And if I have two Kuzans in my field, that's game. Everything you wanna play, he's gonna be removed, except Sabo. However, if you wanna play one of your big body and Sabo around that, it's gonna be extremely, extremely challenging. Okay, Kikomoria. I'm gonna kill it immediately. I mean, I can play Kusan. Good check. Okay, Borsalino, which is fine. And then I'm gonna go 5 to life. Come on, that's an easy counter out. If you attack with Queen, it's gonna be very, very dangerous. So you shouldn't do that. 
So, first thing first, I'm gonna kill Yomoya. So, let's play. There are many things I can do actually, but I'm gonna play Grand Kuzan on top of my Helmepo and Yomoya gonna be KO'd. Then, I'm gonna rest your Borsalino. Then, I'm gonna go 10 to Borsalino. Then, I'm gonna go 6 to life. And then, I'm gonna go 5 to life. Okay, that's fine. And then, I'm gonna go 5 to life then. Obviously, you can use the queen, but I think by doing this strategy, I just confused my opponent. Or maybe he had no counter power in his hand, but he could have used the queen. But I think he was too worried to, that I was going to attack him with one of my Borsalino as well. So he just opted to take that because maybe, maybe my opponent has no more counter power in his hand. However, now there is nothing much you can do. Let me see. Yep, he realized that as well. Because with two Borsalino in my hand, it was extremely, extremely hard for him even to try to play his card in the actually. Okay, Kristaff, let's go. 